Juan Manuel, congratulations for your new position as CEO for Tina Tracker, BU, and Mia. You are a great access for Tina Tracker since your profile combines a strong industrial and IT engineering knowledge and more than 15 years of expertise in the market industry. Then, from your perspective, how do you see the future of the solar tracker market? Well, yeah, exactly. It's, it's, it's more than 15 years working here, so it's, uh, I think I have it, it's enough background and objective, uh, I have an objective uh, uh, overview to, to say that the future is going to be bright. It's, it's, uh, we are just experiencing something like a 12% increase on the delivery year on year and it's expected to have something like a global capacity of 660 gigawatts. So yes, this is going to be a bright future. Yeah. And what are the main drivers of the tracker demand? Well, we have several of them. The first one would be just the, 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 the current policies, which are green. So we are experiencing that uh, from, from the uh, United Nations conventions, we are expecting not to increase the global temperature over two degrees. So we need to be 1.5 degrees maximum over the pre-industrial level for 2050. And also Europe is uh, looking for some, uh, uh, some points like uh, the independence, the energetic independence, which will require to install 400 gigawatts for 2025, 740 for 2030. And this means a big investment, like 215,000 uh, million euros for, for this system. So it's, a, it's an important point. And the second one would be the return of investment. Uh, so people want to, in, to, to invest in something which is going to provide something like a return and it's going to be uh, capable to understand it. So we have a, a tracker is, a, a, is easy to install, it's easy to connect and uh, also we are capable to understand how much it's going to be produced. And also one additional point is that uh, trackers, just with regards with the fixed structure, provides more room for improvement on the LCOE. So it means we are including like uh, points like the artificial intelligence, which can be included in the algorithms for the trackers. So this is a big point for, 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 the, for the drivers. Excellent. And what is Tina Tracker positioning in this booming context? Well, Trina Tracker expects to grow something like 20 to 30 uh, percent. We have done more than 400 installations with a total capacity of 9 gigawatts. And we have people localized all around the world to give these solutions, uh, uh, the support to the solutions to our customers. So uh, we are also uh, even, uh, we have been very, very active in the innovation and we have several locations for the manufacturing, one in Vienna, one in China, and we are even in uh, investigating for, to, for, for new ones so we are very active in this so this is the this is our policy and what is Tina Tracker's strategy behind its growth can you describe it yeah well first of all is uh, to be focused on customer we need to hear the customer voice second is uh, uh, the, the holistic concept not delivering products but delivering a concept so we only we don't have only trackers we have trackers like the Bango 1p which is a uh, special for, for, for a quick installation and a, uh, and a good uh, a maintenance. We have the Vanga 2P, which is special for uh, some complex terrains where we don't want to have too many piles. Or we have the Agile, which is also perfect for, for those areas where we have different slopes and we are having irregular terrains where we have to install these trackers. But we have also the artificial intelligence. We have also the smart tracking algorithm, um, as mentioned before. We have a storage, we have everything. So we are combining all these points to get a concept which is going to reduce the LCOE for the customers. Also, we are including points like the quality. We have been certified for uh, 72817 IECs, also for the UL 3707. Uh, we have been, uh, our truck has been certified by DMV. Um, the, also, we have been working with the most important companies like uh, Wind Tunnel, Tesla, CPP, RWDI. So uh, this is an important point for quality. And finally, uh, two more points. One is the R&D, as mentioned before. We have two hubs and we are doing tests for every single part here uh, mm -hmm. in, externally and internally in our laboratories. And uh, uh, we are very active, like, uh, uh, creating patterns all the time. So we have more than 17 patterns uh, here, all in Spain, and totally 70, something like that, globally. And uh, 
And the last point, which is uh, we are localized, as mentioned before. We don't have something like a, uh, we have a, a sort of a, a headquarters, which is localized in China, but we have hired people everywhere to understand the regulations, to understand the requirements, to understand the customers. So we are capable to, 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 uh, to uh, deliver them with the best solutions. Yeah. Interesting. And now, how can Attacker contribute to the growth of the solar industry in Europe? Yeah, uh, as uh, well, so Europe is going to be one of the most important markets uh, for the next years. So obviously, Trina has to be interested in that. We are, as mentioned, we have something like 300 workers here in Europe. We have people in Vienna, we have people in Madrid, we have people in Zurich. We have a lot of people working uh, in, for, for the Europe uh, uh, for the Europe market because it's one of the most important ones. And as mentioned, we have a manufacturing plant here in Europe. We are. Uh, planning to invest and to develop this manufacturing plan to be capable to deliver our customers with uh, shorter lead times and with better prices. So, uh, always uh, looking for looking towards the European market. Good. And now, finally, as a renowned R and D expert, which direction do you think the tracker technology is heading? Yeah, as you mentioned, I, I have been uh, working for R&D, so I could not say any other things that investment uh, on innovation and developing uh, new new solutions. So we could not think in having trackers installed in areas like it has been mountains or or lakes or whatever. So now we are capable to install in mountains and in high wind areas and high snow area, hail. And now we are working on agrovoltaics, we are working on roofs, so we are constantly developing new solutions. So this is the point. We have to be uh, localized, uh, focalized sorry, in innovation, which is now boosted by the uh, carbon dioxide policies. So I think this is the first step towards uh, sustainability. Wow, that has been great insights what you provided. So thank you very much, Juanma, and one more time, congratulations for your new position. Um, best of luck. Thank you very much.